Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here. We all know that. We're all familiar with that. By the way, if this is the first time you've been here, yes, hello, welcome. Like I said, I react to music from the perspective of someone who also does comedy music. Uh, that means I do pause the songs rather frequently so that I can talk about what's going on in them to react to them. And I'm not talking over the jokes in the song, because the lyrics are usually what makes comedy music comedy music. And sometimes that means discussing how the joke works with the video, how the two integrate. Sometimes it's talking about the joke itself and the nature of it, explaining it sometimes. And sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you're into that kind of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and videos early, and all sorts of other cool things. All of that out of the way, let us dive into this week's, uh, well, this episode's uh, two videos. I'm doing two songs by Ben Vicini. First up is his brand new video for Bed Frame. And then uh, a, a song that kind of snuck out, Too Busy to Play Zelda. I don't know what that means, because uh, I set everything aside so I could play Tales of the Kingdom. Or Tears of the Kingdom. Te I know what I'm talking about, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, yes, so uh, you know, after I film this and edit, I'm going to go back and play more of it. Because I'm, I'm not in it, but I haven't gotten very far in it. But anyway, yes. Two things, uh, bed frame and too busy to play Zelda. We're going to go with bed frame first. This, this one apparently is Ben's biggest production video, uh, and I'm excited to see it. So, hitting a button now. I'm sorry, his upcoming album is called Ben SFW, which is genius. Uh, Ninja Sex Party's first album is called NSFW, so Ben SFW is just brilliant. That's very funny. All right. After the show, you want to come to my place. I've got my own room. I've got my own space. Well, I guess I could have a little more room between the mattress and the floor. <laughs> they just drank from the candles. That... Those weren't the cups. Uh, that's... Already I can see where this is going. It's called bed frame. Uh, could have a little more space between the mattress and the floor. We've all been there. We've all had our, our first apartments where we can't afford a bed frame. We just put the mattress on the floor. That's how we lived sometimes in college or, or just first moving out. Yeah, it, it happens to the best of us. Money's tight. It's a thing. Some people can't afford the luxury of a bed frame. And just drinking from candles, apparently. No more room between the mattress and the floor. Well, our and they're not even regular candles. You can see the switch on the bottom that they're battery operated. I'm sorry. Room between the mattress and the floor. Well, are you really so surprised? Cause I'm an out-of-college guy. That was a great transition. Where the hands, uh, the shot underneath is still, the, is, you know, behind the hands, it becomes the new shot. It's a good transition. I really dig that. Really so surprised. Cause I'm an out-of-college guy. Budget. PS5, $500. Mechanical keyboard, $400. Body pillow, Limited edition, ten thousand dollars. Bed frame, not worth it. Two hundred dollars, no, it's not worth it. Again, going back to what I said, out of college guy in the lyrics. Yeah. So surprised. Yeah. Cause I'm an out of college guy. A box spring or a boot song is where I like to get my groove on. No one but me. <laughs> As a 
eight and a half by eleven size poster of Fight Club on the wall, and all f sorts of food containers and trash on the bed. This is ideal for bringing someone over. Comedy. Uh, no, I love this already. This is great. <laughs> now, we all had... Okay. Okay. Again, going back to the college thing. We all had some of, if not all of, these posters. I had one of these. Uh, put your comments below to, to guess which of these three posters I had. Uh, was it the Scarface poster that was in literally everybody's room? Uh, almost everybody's. Uh, was it the Fight Club poster? Or was it the uh, Pink Floyd back catalog poster? The Pink Floyd back catalog poster is uh, one, two, three, six women with their backs to the camera and painted on their backs is a different Pink Floyd album cover. Uh, and these women are nude, so you could see the butt cheeks and the, the crack. It was a college thing. Hooray. Uh, yes, the back catalog is what that uh, piece is called. Which one did I have? Uh, it should be kind of obvious. Um, but yes, uh, food, posters, out of college. It, 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 it writes itself, really. There was also a Pokemon Fire Red poster a little higher there. Bravo. If we're banging, the bed might be less stable, but if sex is on the table. There's some genius lyrics here going, and uh, how can it be less stable if it's on the floor? It's it's not moving. It's just the mattress. Okay, um, but yeah, no, obviously immediate turn off with the bed covered in foodstuffs and garbage and no bed frame. Uh, lost that one. We've all been there. How long was he dragging a mattress through the city streets? And also, not for nothing, that is a twin bed, f bed mattress. That is not even uh, a, a queen or a king. That is a twin bed, which means that there is barely enough space for two people on that bed. Uh, wow. I'm, I'm reminded of that Mitch Hedberg joke. Uh, I used to lie in my twin bed and wonder where my brother was. Genius, Mitch Hedberg. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, it was a twin bed. It was bed for twins. Where is my twin brother? Uh, explaining jokes is fun. I know, it's, I, I have an international audience, and sometimes they don't, they, they appreciate the, the translations of things that sometimes don't translate very well to whatever language they are coming here with. So, that's why I try to sometimes explain these kind of things, if you've missed that in previous episodes. But, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, that outfit, by the way, that jacket, that jacket's banging. With the red tie, it's great, it's a great look. Most musicians don't have their life together, no matter how much swag they try to put on ahead of time. Also, your sleight of hand, Ben, needs a little work. Uh, we, we may have seen where you were putting the spoon. But, uh, yeah. No. Uh, no one, no one who even says they have their life together does. That's the thing of being alive. You fake it till you make it. You fake it until even after you've made it, because sometimes you just mentally aren't together, and that's okay.
but sometimes also it causes problems with your love life like this song is saying. Price, having one advice, I've got my life together. Somehow that magic worked on her uh, to remove a wedding ring. Uh, hey, if you got game, you got game. And we'd be so close to the ground. <laughs> I could use a couple inches down there. I, mean, the I was going to say double entendre, but the, he's going to explain it right there. That's uh. <laughs> That's an average length. That's an average length. Even though you were holding the keyboard out as if it was your... Yeah, okay. You know, it's... it's you know the way it works. Inches down there. I mean, the bed and the floor, not like my dick. That's an average length. No one but me to blame. The bed frame's out of the game. I know you hope that maybe... Note, pen is stunk in a, stuck in a piano bench. Uh, not is crossed out, and now saying bed frame worth it, question mark? Yeah. Things have changed, but every guy my uh. age is still the same. Oh, I think I failed your test. They just cleared off, yes. So he got the body pillow. He, he got the body pillow. That's that's a thing that happened and and brought it out in front of generally you don't want to introduce a first date a one night stand to your waifu right away it's just a notes for next time if there is a next time Got two. It's like six inches off the ground. Yeah, that's a acceptable height. <laughs> she sleeps above her covers. Four feet above her covers. There's your Ghostbusters quote of the day. Uh, I quote Ghostbusters every single day of my life. I don't know if you know this about me, but it reminds me of it, so I say it. All right, we got one on camera this time. Uh, six inches. Off Basic bitch. I missed that coming out of uh, the mouth there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a acceptable. <laughs> are we are we trading? Or just selling off the I'm things? Sure that I've got the potential. Guide, how to get laid. There's not even a mattress cover on that mattress. Or if it is, it's just been pulled off and it's just... There's a sad My Little Pony nearer the mattress to the floor than up higher on the wall. I just like pointing things out at this point. It's just... I'm tired. I just got own a bed frame! <laughs> sure Step one, own a potential. bed frame. Step one, own a bed... Step one of one. There's only one step on how to get laid. It is to own a bed frame. Apparently, you don't even need a mattress. You just need to have a bed frame. Because it's the only step. Lol, good luck with a musician's salary. Hashtag relatable AF. I just don't see it as essential. Having a bed frame would really raise up you and me. Literally. Again, again, something I love, musical jokes within songs. It would raise us up, including the key of the song, so the key raises. Uh, and now we're singing in a higher, higher key. Genius. I love key changes that are announced. I just think they're funny. Uh, it's personal preference. Wait, wait, wait. If I don't have a bed frame, my bed is lower to the ground, so shouldn't the key change go lower? 
no one but me. Perfect. Perfect. That's that's an amazing joke where you're talking about the key change going higher and then you realize, but I haven't got the bed frame, so the key change shouldn't go higher, it should be low to the ground where the bed is. I love it. I love it. Forward to the ground, so shouldn't the key change go lower? No one but me to blame. Yeah, that's good. The bed frame's <laughs> out of the game. I know you hope that maybe things have changed, but every guy my age is still the same. Oh, I think I failed your test, because you seem unimpressed. And if we're banging, the bed might be less stable, but I know sex ain't on the table. And yeah. Deal. Trading bed frame for mattress, meet in person, yes or no. So, step one of one was taken just as literally as I was expecting it to be. Yes, don't even need a mattress, just need a bed frame. No, you, you do, in fact, need a mattress as well. This is, this is like the gift of the Magi. You know, I, I, uh, I sold my, my, my hair to get you a brush and, uh, or whatever version of the Gift of the Magi that you're familiar with. I remember the, the Steve Martin one where sold his toenails for toenail clippers and for the other person. And Cruel Shoes is a book that was clearly written on cocaine. Um, I'm just saying, if you've ever read Steve Martin's Cruel Shoes, I read it when I was like 12 and even I knew something was enhanced here. Uh, but I'm getting off topic like I do. Uh, I, what I said earlier is happening now, is my point. That's why he was dragging the mattress. Trade bed frame for mattress. Coupon for bed frame. <laughs> just meeting a person on a street to do this trade, they don't even have the bed frame, they're just giving you a coupon for it video budgetary things the way you make things work. It's genius. Uh, that's why he was, he's was he been dragging the mattress through the whole video. Love it. I absolutely love it. See, I, I got the bed frame. Oh, no, it's... Uh... Oh, uh, oh, oh, it works. It works. Good for you, Ben. The cord may be unresolved and not finished strong, but my lovers do. Bravo. That is... That is brilliant. Bravo, well done. Love, love the art. Uh, and also, uh, little animated Ben there, wearing the same outfit. The blue jacket with the red tie, very sharp. Uh, really enjoyed that, that's very funny. Printed Suspect Studios, videographer, editor, starring many people. Uh, artwork by Befish. Bed frame pervaded by me. Yeah, that's right. I own one. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bravo. Uh, that's... Uh, videographer Ray Sivord. His bed frame is bigger than yours. Uh, yeah. Bravo. Excellent work. Available on all streaming platforms, links below. Full album releases later this year. So, Ben SFW is coming soon. But let us jump to the next song by Ben, which is too busy to play Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we'll see how that works out, I guess. My original set was littered with audio issues, so I re-recorded this new song more about that after the song. I had no idea that this was from a stream. So this will be neat. Let's test this out. It is doubling, yeah. Oh! Nor, Nor Grime is in the is in the chat. Uh, I know Nor Grime no I can't say it. Nor Noir Grime through Nerdcore Circles. Uh, and, uh, they were in the chat of, of Ben's, uh, Twitch stream there. That's pretty great. I'm hearing that. That's Bill <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on fire. Wait. Okay. 
that's very clever. He's using recall from Tales of the Ki Tears of the I keep saying calling it Tales of the Kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom, to to rewind over the own unedited audio to edit the audio and make an actual song. I guess. How we doing? Bonus stage. <laughs> Yesterday, one of the biggest games of all time just came out, changing the course of civilization as we know it. I got some things I want to say about it. That whole spoken intro there, very Jack Black. Just the delivery was very Jack Black to me. I, uh, I appreciate that kind of thing. I dig that kind of thing. Finally came out, have no fear. Anticipation building over six years. The sequel to sequels. I shudder to think of the tears of the kingdom of uh. Really, really good rhyming scheme set up there. Uh, yeah, six years now since they announced it. That's weird. Well, no, no, it's not been six years since they announced it. It's been six years since since Breath of the Wild came out. They announced it, I think, three years ago. Maybe maybe a little more than that, but yeah, it's been six years since Breath of the Wild came out, because Breath of the Wild came out when the Switch came out, which was 2017, so it's a thing. We all can relate to that. And here's here's the the thing is uh, number one, I love self-aware comedy music, obviously. We've said that several times on here. Uh, something about singing a song like, yeah, I, I'm too busy to be playing Zelda because I'm here performing for you on this stream. Uh, there is another artist who I team up with quite often named TV's Kyle. You may have heard of him. Uh, TV's Kyle uh, created Mighty Magiswords on Cartoon Network, but he's also in a group with me called Scooter Picnic. He's also a solo comedy musician and has uh, done a Christmas song almost every year since doing music, and one year did a song called Playing Zelda Instead of Christmas. I forget what year that Zelda game came, what, what, what Zelda game came out that year. It may have been, it may have been Breath of the Wild. But, uh, yes, uh, not paying attention to any Christmas things, just sitting there, uh, being Link, playing Zelda instead. So, people have different priorities, clearly, is all I'm saying. I'm too busy, I don't know what to tell you. I got this stupid career and these bills to pay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so according to the stream, because he's had to re-record this song, uh, the looping might be part of the act. There may have been an echo going on, and as we heard in the unedited audio in the beginning, it did seem a little chaotic. Uh, trippy glitch, this is so chaotic, embrace the madness, and Noir Grimes says, I think he might need to mute his browser window with Twitch playing. So yes, it clearly seems like there's some sort of echo or feedback happening in the original version, so he's re-recording it new here for this video outside of the Twitch stream. Uh, genius. No tears of the kingdom you see The only tears are from me <laughs> No tears of the kingdom, just, just tears from me crying because I can't play it because I'm performing for you. Not mad disappointed. I shouldn't have picked a gig the day after Tears of the Kingdom. That's on me. <laughs> That's on me. Yeah, no, I, I realized I should have cleared my schedule. I cleared my schedule. I knew the game was... I. Here's the thing. 
uh, I was waiting all day for it. wasn't working that day. wasn't working that weekend. I decided to not work my regular job that weekend. Uh, and I was home all day Friday waiting for the game because I ordered it from Amazon because I don't do midnight openings anymore and I don't shop at... I try not to shop at GameStop anymore. Anyway, and uh, I, I ordered it online, was waiting for it to arrive. It didn't get to my house until like 7 or 8 p.m. And, I, you know, by the time I got here, I was eating dinner, so ate dinner first, and then... So I played it very late. Was up till about 4 o'clock in the morning playing it, but I played it very late in the evening to begin with. So many of my friends were already ahead of me in the game. Uh, but so I know that feel of, of the anticipation. I, but I planned the whole weekend to be playing it. It just got to me late on the first day, and... Yeah. We ascend to new levels of hype. Use your hands to the joy cons tie. Upload it up. It's time to take to the skies, islands in the sky. Sky Islands. I recall some folks don't understand why I get more pleasure from my ultra hand. Get more pleasure from your ultra hand. Everybody's making that joke. I, uh, not to say that it's a bad joke. It's, it's an obvious one. Something called ultra hand. Using your ultra hand. Ninja Sex Party made a tweet the day Tears of the Kingdom came out about using their ultra hand. Masturbation jokes. That's all I'm going to say, apparently. I was going to say more, but my brain decided to not. We're moving on. Well, everything I said sounds pretty nice. Bonus stage, you're cool, but you're on thin ice. <laughs> I'm too busy to play the brand new Zelda. Because I got this stupid show to play. You guys are cool. <laughs> Again, it's that self-awareness of man. I'm too busy to play this song because I'm 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 doing the show. Oh no, no, it's it's not you guys though. You're cool. I don't mind playing for you, but uh, you know, I'm I'm too busy being here with you than than playing instead of playing the game. Priorities. I'm too busy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm in this song and I'm offended. <laughs> We all we all know that feel, especially as musicians, especially as comedy musicians, uh, having to focus more on paying the bills than the things you want to be doing, like anything but sometimes trying to be funny. Uh, yeah, it sucks, but sometimes you gotta buckle down and do it, and push away the things like Tears of the Kingdom, which I will get to when I'm done editing. It's calling me. Hold that note. Here's something I really appreciate about, about what Ben does is he's clearly got uh, theatrical training. He, he seems to be a very theatrical performer, musical theater, that type of thing. Is a very adept uh, piano player, uh, very good on the instrumentation, decent singing voice, great at... I don't have the strongest singing voice, so like I'm not much to compare with. Uh, so being able to hold notes like that and, and maintain the pitch and key is something that I'm easily impressed by because it's not something I do very easily myself. Uh, all of that said, it's I, there's a familiarity to his performance style that is evocative of many people I have known in college and uh, in improv troops and theater troops that I've been in over the years. Uh, and that's a thing that I appreciate about his style. And also, as a person who does not play instruments, I'm always impressed when people do. I'm easily impressed sometimes, but still. Great little instrumental break here. Kirby looks like he's got a backwards baseball cap on and a beard and mustache. Is that a silent Bob Kirby?
It's a good breakdown. It's a long breakdown. I don't know where the 8 bit sounds are coming from, but they're nice. I'm too busy to play the brand new Zelda. <laughs> Cause I got this show that I gotta play. I'm too busy, I don't know what to tell you. I got this stupid career and these bills to pay. I mean, it's relatable. If you're watching this set right now, this is not how it happened live. Not <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I royally messed up so much. There were tech issues out of my control. There were nerves. There was the pressure of doing an online show when I haven't done one in years. Give a Ooh. shout out to Bonus Stage for helping host events like this, for helping BGM and nerd and nerdcore musicians and nerdy funny guys like myself for giving us an audience and for helping us play our music for so many people and for making this feel like a legitimate career choice. After the original version of this set. Uh, bravo to Bonus Stage uh, for, for giving a platform to... Uh, VGM, Nerdcore, and Nerdy Comics like Ben. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I don't have the technical know-how myself to do live streaming concerts because I don't play any instruments. All my backing tracks are backing tracks and I can't figure out how to make the music play that the people on the stream can hear it and also not have it overpower my vocals when I do it. I'll figure it out at one point, but I'm not asked often enough. Uh, that said, um, I love the, uh, openness here at the end. The aftermath, as this chapter is called, uh, uh, about what happened during the stream and why this is a different version than the version the people who were on the stream heard. You know, that, saying that, that it's a recreation. Bravo. Um, so yeah. Good on you. I was really defeated oh and that was like 15 minutes ago at the time of recording this i think it's <laughs> so oh wow okay so not only did the stream not perform well with the song there were technical difficulties that stopped the song from being heard as well as it could be on the stream he recorded this this fixed version of the song right after the stream. Wow. Wow. Uh, for feeling that devastation and yet doing it again immediately. That that takes cojones. That's uh, bravo. That's that's uh, dedication to your craft. Well done. Important to know, days like this will happen. Murphy's Law will just keep fucking you over and over and over. Having my Mac crash every three minutes so I had to run and grab my mom's laptop. And then I couldn't find the HDMI converter and I found out last minute and then I had to do all these audio settings immediately. And considering everything that happened 20 minutes before I was supposed to go live and how I did, I'm, I'm proud of myself. And I think it's important to learn from those mistakes but to not question your whole career because of them. Words to live by if you are a performer. Bravo. I felt myself doing that, and luckily I've gone through this enough where I was able to kind of catch those uh, feelings. Before We've all felt them. Further. But I've been doing pretty good at not having those feelings at all, even though I've had mistakes and sets that have gone far worse than this one. Again, thank you to Josh from Bonus Stage and everyone at Bonus Stage and everyone that was in chat. We've, we've all had, if, if you're a performer, no matter how veteran you are as a performer, no matter how many shows you have under your belt, no matter how popular an artist you are, we've all had shows that don't go the way that we've expected them to, or how we would have preferred them to go. Um, I sing about this in songs. I'm, I'm one of those self-deprecating artists where I can 
talk about how, yeah, I've had shitty gigs. I have a line in, in my song Grand Opening, did a show for three people once and one was my mom, and that is an absolutely true lyric. I have, I have done shows where the only people that showed up were my mom, her boyfriend at the time, and my partner. And <laughs> those shows suck to do, but the show must go on. You do what you can. You entertain who's there. Uh, I, I, I performed at Mag Labs, uh, I think it was 2016. Uh, I had 12 people in the room. Uh, entertained the shit out of those 12 people. Uh, and then I did, you know, other shows where I've had dozens to hundreds of people in the in the audience where you feel like okay you give the same amount for any size audience and sometimes it doesn't go well you just move on and you do it again man back when I did stand-up you had great nights and you had nights where you bombed it's just the nature of the beast it's just the nature of the business sometimes not all the cosmic tumblers click into place properly that doesn't mean you should question your career, just, you know, get back on the horse. As an idiom that makes no sense here. Uh, you know what I'm saying. For being there for me, because I know we were joking, I know we were, like, having a good time, and I was kind of playing off of the fact and ripping off the fact that things weren't going according to plan, but I really was not feeling that good during that, uh, during those moments. Oh, yeah, you try to put on a brave face. Balance or anything. But all I know is that the next show I do is going to be fucking amazing. Of no fault of my own. It's just going to be good. Like, I'm going to hit one note, and then someone in the front row is going to cream his pants. I want to do more video game comedy. That's uh, a hell of a prediction, and I hope it comes true. Uh, just to make this video prophetic. Like, I'm going to hit one note, and then someone in the front row is going to cream his pants. I want to do more video game comedy music like this. This was really fun to write. So maybe I'll delve more into this stuff. Who knows? I hope so. And if you do, Ben, I'd love to collaborate. I do a lot of video game comedy stuff as it is. Thank you, YouTube. And someone clip my set and then send it to my dad and let him know he was right. I should have gone into advertising. <laughs> that seems like that was from the stream. That's great. Whoopsie daisy, please excuse our technical difficult ease. All right, uh, that's a bonus stage thing, clearly from the BS logo at the bottom. Uh, that was really, really neat. Uh, I really dug both of those songs. I hope you did too. If you did like this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. If you want to see these videos without me yammering all over, the, all over them, of course, links in the description below. Go show Ben some love, and if you really want to help this particular channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and videos early, exclusive reactions, name in the credits over here, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Anyway, enough of me taking up your valuable time. We'll see you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye.